The future of food. Vocabulary. Food. 1. A work in pairs. How many types of food can you think of for each of the categories below? Make a list. Vegetables. Desserts. Meat. Fruit. B. Compare your lists with other students. Lesson 6.2 Food 1. Which of these foods do you a. Never eat b. Eat a lot of 2. Which types of food drink do you think are a. Very good b. Very bad for your health Grains Corn Wheat Oats Meat and fish, seafood, chicken, duck, beefsteak, leg of lamb, fish, shrimps, mussels, lobster, dairy, milk, cheese, cream, yogurt, dessert, jelly, biscuits, cake, Ice cream, drinks, tea, coffee, orange juice, fizzy drink. Vegetables, soya beans, potatoes, carrots, spinach, broccoli, cabbage, lettuce, peas, onion, garlic, cucumbers, courgettes, fruit, pineapple, apple, orange, grapes, grapefruit, kiwi fruit, mango, watermelon, plums, lemon, C. Work in pairs. Discuss the questions. 1. What is your favorite food? 2. Do you ever eat food from other countries, cultures? If so, what? 3. Which of the dishes in the photos do you often, sometimes, never eat? Would you like to try any of them? Listening. 2. A. Work in pairs. Look at the pictures and read the sentences about food of the future. Do you think they are true? T. Or false? F. In the future, more people may eat insects. True. 2. In the future, we will be able to make food from mud, wood and seaweed. True. 3. In the future, kitchen tools, e.g. knives, might give us information about the food in the kitchen. True. Unit 6. Recording 3. Sue, what are the latest food trends? We have lots of interesting developments and even possible solutions for world problems related to food. Great. So, can you kind of... Well, the key question is always what to eat. And here we may see some changes. Things that you might not understand as food groups. Hmm. Can you give an example? An example is insects. <laughs> As a food group? Well, in Latin America, Asia, and Africa, people have eaten insects for thousands of years. But it's only now that we in the West are seeing what a good food source they are. Insects are rich in protein, low in fat, and easy to farm. <laughs> so spiders and ants may be on the menu. We might see them on menus in the West. Now, technology will also play a part in the future of food. Scientists have already found ways to create meat in the lab. Right. 
But it tastes awful, doesn't it? <laughs> it tastes awful now, but maybe it won't in the future. And as well as meat made in a lab, we're also looking at ways to make proteins out of things like mud and wood <laughs> and also seaweed. It seems incredible that mud might be something we can eat. <laughs> well, it's the same for seaweed, which again is easy to farm because it's everywhere. Um, other developments on your kitchen table include an intelligent knife. What's that? An intelligent knife will tell you all about the food it's cutting. So, say you cut a slice of meat. The knife will tell you how much protein and fat is in the meat, where it's from, how old it is. That's amazing. Really giving people more information about their food. Speak out tip. When we aren't sure of a word we hear, we can often guess. What letter does the word begin with? How many syllables does it have? Do we recognize the ending of the word, e.g., tin, y, ed? Does the context tell us the type of word, e.g., noun, verb, adjective? After guessing, Check with a friend, your teacher, or the audio script. Grammar. May, might, will. 3. A. Read sentences A, D, and answer the questions about the phrases in bold. A. We might see them, insects, on menus. B. We may see some changes. C. An intelligent knife will tell you all about the food it's cutting. D. It tastes awful now, but it won't in the future. One which one is negative? D. It tastes awful now, but it won't in the future. Two which ones mean, probably, but we don't know. A. We might see them, insects, on menus. B. We may see some changes. 3. Which one is a strong prediction about the future? C. An intelligent knife will tell you all about the food it's cutting. Page 138 Language Bank May, might, will Use may, might plus infinitive to talk about probable situations. We also use may, might plus infinitive to talk about future possibilities. I might go to the party. They might not arrive today. We may have some problems. She may not like the dress. Do not use contractions with might not and may not. The question form with might is rare. The question form with may is used for asking permission. It is a very polite form. May I sit here? May I open the window? Use will plus infinitive to talk about a future prediction. The negative of will is won't, or will not. I will be home at 9 p.m. Tonight. She won't come here tomorrow. Will they win the match? In spoken English, use the contracted form of will, ll, in positive sentences. Do not use it in questions. I'll be home at 9 p.m. Tonight. It is common to use think, don't think plus will. I think she'll get the job. Don't think I'll go to university next year. 6.2 A match statements 1 to 6 with responses A, F. 1. I'm hungry because I missed breakfast. E. I may have an early lunch. 2. You eat too much junk food. D. You might get fat. 3. I'm just going out to get a shack. 
Hey, I won't be long. 4. The film was really good. F. I think my father might enjoy it. 5. She looks a bit stressed. B. I think she'll need a holiday soon. 6. We want to visit the museum this afternoon. C. We may not have time. To find and correct the mistakes. There is a mistake in each sentence. One I don't will know my exam results until August. Correct. One I won't know my exam results until August. Two will you to go to university next year. Correct. Two will you go to university next year. Three Anna is very busy so she may not comes tonight. Correct. Three Anna is very busy so she may not come tonight. Four the traffic is heavy so they may to be late. Correct. Four the traffic is heavy so they may be late. 5. Edson might be the best player we have ever seen. Correct. 5. Edson might be the best player we have ever seen. 6. I might go not to the exercise class today. Correct. 6. I might not go to the exercise class today. 7. We'll to be back at 6 p.m. Correct. 7. We'll be back at 6 p.m. Unit 6. Recording 4. 1. In 20 years, food won't be much different from today. 2. Eating habits might change. 3. Fast food restaurants may change their menu. 4. People will always sit down for a family meal. Unit 6. Recording 4. 1. In 20 years, food won't be much different from today. 2. Eating habits might change. 3. Fast food restaurants may change their menu. 4. People will always sit down for a family meal. For a right responses to sentences 1 to 7. Use the prompts in brackets with might, might not, may, may not or will, won't. 1. We're having a picnic. Rain. It might rain. 2. I'm becoming a vegetarian. Lose weight. You might lose weight. 3. Let's go to the best restaurant in town. B. Expensive. It might be expensive. 4. I want to stop eating junk food. Feel healthier. You'll feel healthier. 5. Let's go to the cafe for breakfast. Not be open. It might not be open. 6. I want to try eating octopus. Not like it. You might not like it. 7. I'm going to do a cooking course. Enjoy it. You enjoy it. B. Work in pairs and take turns. Student A. Say something is going to happen. Student B. Respond using may, might, will or won't. Continue the conversation. A. We're having a picnic. B. It might rain. A. Don't be so negative. The sun's shining. B. That's true, but you should take an umbrella. Five A work in pairs. 
Do you agree with sentences 1 to 6 below? Take the four most interesting sentences. 1. In the future, nobody will be hungry for long. 2. People won't eat animals in the future. 3. More people might grow food to save money. 4. Families won't have time to eat together. 5. The next generation may not know how to cook. They will order food on the internet. 6. I might learn how to cook in the future. B. Compare your ideas with other students. A. Number 1 might happen, but it won't happen soon. B. I agree. There is enough food in the world, but it is not reaching the people who need it. Writing. Sentence structure. 6. A. Work and pairs. Read the extract from a blog below and discuss the questions. How important is food in your life? Fernanda Huerta Gonzalez from Colombia talks about food. In my late twenties I moved from my home in Medellin, Colombia, to the United States to continue my studies. It was a good move, but I missed my family and friends. I also missed Colombian food. In my country we have a lot of special dishes like mondongo and pito. And we take our time preparing food. People say we cook with love. While in the US, I met other international students. And twice a month we got together and cooked for one another. It was wonderful, and I tasted food from many countries. Libya, Poland, Tunisia, Peru and Japan. I also made many good friends. My time in the US taught me the importance of food as a part of culture and a way to bring people together. 1. When and why did Fernanda move from her home city in her late twenties to continue her studies? 2. What does she say about Colombian food and Colombian cooking? She missed Colombian food. There are lots of special dishes. In Colombia, people take their time preparing food. People say Colombians cook with love. 3. What food did she try in the US and who made it? She tried food from many countries, Libya, Poland, Tunisia, Peru and Japan. Other international students made it. To compare the two examples below. What do you notice about the length of the sentences? I was in my late twenties. I went to the United States. I went to continue my studies. I was in my late twenties when I went to the United States to continue my studies. The first example has three short sentences that don't connect together very well. In the second example, the three short sentences are linked with, when. This makes it flow more smoothly, and easier for the reader to understand. Speak out tip. Short sentences may sound unconnected. Long sentences can be difficult to understand. Try to use and only once in a sentence. In the next sentence, use also. Look at your last piece of writing. Can you use this tip to improve sentence structure? See find two examples of the and also pattern in the blog. D. Choose one of the topics in the box below and write a paragraph. Use different sentence lengths. Cooking. Restaurants. 
Favorite. Food. Family meals. I love cooking. One of my favorite restaurants is. How important is food in your life? Fernanda Huerta Gonzalez. From Colombia, talks about food. In my late twenties I moved from my home in Medellin. Colombia, to the United States to continue my studies. It was a good move, but I missed my family and friends. I also missed Colombian food. In my country we have a lot of special dishes like mondongo and pito. And we take our time preparing food. People say we cook with love. While in the US, I met other international students. And twice a month we got together and cooked for one another. It was wonderful, and I tasted food from many countries. Libya, Poland, Tunisia, Peru and Japan. I also made many good friends. My time in the US taught me the importance of food as a part of culture and a way to bring people together.